like my new fashion scape outfit? I have to thank my fiance for that outfit, but we are going to go in some combat gear today to go find the poor scene of interest. Where does P come in the alphabet? There we go. And why are we going ahead with this quest is because this whole Mithlin map deal is keeping me up at night. We know this is going to be available. We can kind of logic out that Varrock is going to be available. We kind of know that Lumbridge and Draenor are going to be available. But there's things I'm uncertain of, like whether this whole Port Serum Rivington area is going to be available. And my fiancé says that based off the new quest, he thinks it may be. So let us go find this notice board in Draenor. OS Buddy may not have been the best thing to use for this in this whole little Draenor thieving area, but we are going to go ahead up to Sarah's Farm in Falador. What do you need, Sarah? I was making my monthly delivery to the bar in Lumbridge. That is way too specific. A hulking monster, oh no! Not farm produce! What did this monster look like? I didn't get a very good look at it, I'm afraid. It was getting dark, and as soon as I saw it charging at me, I ran. I can still hear the sound, though. A horrible grunting, squealing. I, 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 I think that will be all for now. So let us go find these scary things. Ooh, what is this? It seems as though the monster is trying to run off with some of Sarah's produce. From the looks of things, it was heading northeast. So that's this way. We will follow the trail of cabbage. Carrots. Oh, a strange hole. Well, I'm gonna need a rope then. This is why I normally read the wiki before starting quests. Let's go! Holy carrots! Climb over! That would be nice if that's available in the league. Investigate skeleton. There's also a scrawled note. This is what I get for exploring uncharted caves. Looks like I'm trapped down here. My entry rope slipped off and now there's nowhere to go but deeper. I think I'd be safer just waiting and praying for rescue. If anyone finds this, get out while you can. I'm not scared of anything. Ooh, that's a little ugly. You sure that's a piggy? Well, that's not cool. Holy cuts 
seen. Speria. Oh, I'm going to have to go all the way back there. So that's not going to happen again because she gave me super cool goggles. I definitely need a Slayer helmet at some point. Oh, I'm so glad it didn't make me bring another rope because I didn't even think of that. So now I guess we just kill these guys. Kapow! Really? I only need to kill one? That's actually a little disappointing. Oh well, back to Sarah! And quest complete. I'll probably just give it to the dog. 5,000 coins for one kill? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. But my quest isn't done yet? Oh, now they want me to go talk to the Slayer Master. Now quest complete? Yay! Ooh, that gave me Slayer Reward points. That's pretty awesome. No, I don't really want a new Slayer task right this moment, but thank you. So I can definitely see why, if they were going to implement this in leagues, that definitely they would have to give access to Falador farms. But there's a way to run over here without going to Port Sarim, and I'm really scared they're going to cut it along this road and only give us access to... Valador Farms, and maybe further down the road to Remington. My biggest concern with the whole Edgeville thing is I haven't seen any form of confirmed content yet that puts it in Mithilin, and Acorn said that thing about Mithilin isn't exactly what it's regarded as in the wiki. Well, Edgeville's the only thing that is kind of extraneous in terms of questing and content, so I'm really scared that they're going to cut it out and put it in a wilderness area or something. But we will have to see what this whole Mithlin map mess comes to bring, and it's making my pregame prep really hard. So thanks for watching, and we will get you in on more pregame prep next time.